Hello and welcome. You are watching I Know How. Today I am going to show you a multiple steps or ways how to fix a loud noise from a fan of a MacBook. Uh, it's gonna be an ultimate guide. Keep watching the video. Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the instant updates. Okay, without any delay, let's go for the first step. Check for apps or tabs which is using high graphics. Uh, go to your uh, activity monitor. Here you can see like which apps are using more CPU, more mm, memories, it's using more energy, disk network if a particular if a particular app is using more CPU then the CPU can pro produce more heat and then that can make your fan to spin faster to down your CPU so if you have any apps which is using too much of energy too much of CPU then try to close it and see if the fan spins slower for example, the apps like Photoshop or iMovie can use a lot of resources and your fan will spin faster. Um, another one is uh, like if you have a Chrome that is more resource user than Safari. So try to switch over to another browser just to check if the fan problem is due to that. Okay, so close the app, but uh, it's running at the background. If you see on the app, there's a bottom um, small dot like symbol. This means it's still working on the background. So what you can do is uh, right click on it and and quit. That will, the small dot is gone. That means the app is closed and it's not working at the background. The, to this one, quit. And this one as well force quit you can see all the dot is gone if you don't use this uh, more frequently you can right click and go to option and remove from the top that's the follow up for first step you can close the app so that it's not working on the background and it's not using any resources close the app to keep the vents clear it's very important to keep the vents clear because uh, the vents, what it does is uh, pull the fresh air and push the hot air outside. So on this particular model, uh, you can see the vents are just below the screen. Make sure they are not blocked by anything or there's nothing stuck in between it. Uh, other models might have the fan outlet on the sides. You can have a look, clear it with a compressed air or something step 3 test your fans on the older models um, there are some applications like uh, Apple hardware test you can download it from apple.com and then uh, use that application to test your fans uh, in the newer models there's a different app called uh, different utility app called uh, Apple diagnostics so prior to June 2013 there is a utility called Apple hardware test you can easily find it out in apple.com and on the models which was released after June 2013 there is a new uh, utility called Apple diagnostics you can use them and uh, test your fans if they are working uh, perfectly or not that's your step 3 okay so step 4 is reset your SMC SMC is a system management controller which it controls your behavior uh, you can say it manages behaviors related to power battery charging fans and sensors now I'm gonna show you how to reset the SMC there is two ways to reset the SMC one is uh, older models of older models of MacBook which are built from uh, mid 2009 to 2017 and there is another one for the newer models which are built from 2017 
to uh, latest so first check if you have a t2 chip which is a um, new security features on the newer models which was um, released after 2017 to check if you have that t2 chip what you have to do is what you have to do is go to the apple and go to about this mac go to uh, system report then go to controller on this particular model it does not have a t2 chip so you can follow the first method which i'm going to show now and i will also cover the second method which is for the newer models on both the steps for the older models and the newer models uh, first thing first what you have to do is go to your apple and uh, shut down your device basically shut it down and then follow the steps what i'm going to show you now uh, on this uh, particular model this is a old model which is a 2012 um, MacBook Air and on this one we're gonna use the first method which is for the older models basically what you have to do is uh, press and hold left shift which is this one which is this one left shift control and alt so basically press and hold this three button and then press and hold power button for 10 seconds after pressing for 10 seconds release all the buttons and then press the power button to turn it on This is as simple as you can see. This has reset the system management controller and it will boot up. And if there is any issues with the power, uh, battery charging sensors, or if you have a problem with the fan noise, it should now, should now fix it. Uh, for all the newer models which was um, released after 2017 and uh, you have also make sure that they have t2 chip a controller chip for the newer models um, the steps are slightly different first of all what you have to do is um, press and hold power for 10 seconds then after a few seconds power on your macbook if you see the problem is still there the your your problem is not fixed and then what you what you want what you have to do is shut down your macbook and then press and hold four keys again this time it's control um, alt both of these and this time press and hold press and hold shift and power so all these four keys press and hold for seven seconds so don't worry if there's power on keep holding it for seven seconds it will power on and power off again so after holding for seven seconds release them and wait for a few seconds and then press the power button that's all you have to do to reset the SMC on the newer models this should fix your this should fix your problems related to power battery charging fans and sensors if you still have the problem then we have a hardware fix for it basically what you are going to do is shut down your macbook and open the back cover we need a couple of tools for it one five point screwdriver six point screwdriver um, one plastic sponger um, 
one tweezer and a brush to clean your fan now as you can see there now as you can see there is uh, 10 screws on your back cover remove them on this particular model there's a big screws on top of here okay all the screws are removed now um, these screws are in certain angle so you have to rather than keeping your screwdriver straight keep it a little bit slightly on the angle to remove it so that's how uh, it should be done otherwise uh, you might damage the screws itself after it's been a uh, after all the screws are removed, just uh, put a spuzzer on here and then lift the cover. So, as you can see, there is our fan and there is our CPU and this is our SSD uh, which comes in this uh, particular model of the MacBook. Uh, battery connector, batteries, Wi-Fi adapters. This First of all, clean the fan with the brush. Or you can even use the compressed air for that um, after it's done um, if you have a faulty fan you might remove that and change change it uh, basically to remove it you need a six point screwdriver to open the screws over here um, and over there so that's how you remove the screws um, and remove the fan and replace it second thing second thing what you can do is uh, check the thermal paste between your cpu and heatsink basically what can what can happen is um, if your thermal paste is burned out then your cpu is not passing the heat properly to the heatsink and it's not going through the fan i will show you how to change the heatsink as well but i'm not gonna change it but i'll show you how it can be done basically remove the screws with your six point screwdriver okay what you can, what you can do is uh, take off fresh uh, alcohol wipe wipe it out and put the new thermal paste I use um, MX4 thermal compound uh, this is I've been using it since uh, last 10 years and it's it's been good for me I've, I've replaced thermal paste a couple of months ago so I won't be replacing it now but uh, um, it is ideal to change it every year or so or if you feel that your MacBook is getting hotter than usual then you, you might go on and uh, replace the thermal paste that will that will help your MacBook to last longer you should always try to make sure your MacBook stays cooler all the time make sure the vents on this heatsink is also dust free you can check out my other videos to how to replace a thermal paste on a CPU. So I'm gonna assemble these uh, heatsink back and then put the back cover. Okay, the heatsink is back on. After that, uh, you need to put the cover back on. Make sure these uh, air vents are clear of dust or anything. After your air vents are clean, just put the cover back and then put the screws back in these are the longer screws which goes on this two point you can start from anywhere I will always start from the corner So these are the four basic steps and the last one is hardware related like if you have a faulty fan or you need to change the thermal paste of a CPU that's how you do it. Um, so on this video I've already shown you how to check the 
apps and tabs which are using more resources you can try to keep it uh, you can try to close it down um, uh, keep the vents clear test your fans using various utilities and then um, uh, reset the system management controller to fix many problems related to power battery charging fans and sensors hopefully following these steps uh, will help you to fix your problem uh, hope you like the video and if you need uh, any more videos related to macbook please leave a comment uh, on my video if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section and if you have enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe below to keep up with more upcoming videos hit the bell icon have a good time until next video see you then bye bye